Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Sally from the Let's Makeup Blog UK team. This is also Claire and Debs. If it's your first time watching us, welcome. We're pleased to have you. Please do hit the subscribe button and hit the little ne no bell notification in the top hand corner to get notified whenever we do upload a video, which is going to be every Tuesday and Thursday. Unless, of course, something happens because we're all quite busy mums and give us a big thumbs up on the video and also please do leave us some constru constructive criticism in the little comments box at the bottom that would be so much appreciated now you can see I've already set my base I've already done my brows I've already done my eye I've already primed my eyes and I've primed the rest of my face as well and that's basically because today I'm just super, super, super excited because I finally got my hands on the first palette by Jeffy Star. I mean, just look at those colours. The, the metals are just stunning. They're just amazing. I'm um, just so in love. Today is basically my review of this palette and obviously you can tell I'm initially in love. Holy sausage is a mirror. I don't have to faff around with another mirror. I can just hold the palette and do my check and do my face without sort of... When you open it up and look inside there are 15 shades. There's 10 matte shades and 5 out of this world metallic shades i have no idea what i'm going to be doing with this palette on my eyes today like most times but i am actually really really looking forward to getting into it and so here we go <laughs> now i did have a play around with this uh, when it came on friday i played around with it because like i literally just couldn't stop myself and it's insane <laughs> I'm going to be straight in on parts to do my cut crease. A <sighs> little bit of fallout on the actual palette, but there doesn't seem to be any around my eyes. You know my thoughts about fallout, it happens with all the palettes. <laughs> it's just one of those things, if this pigment, this fallout, now going into the shade Subtle. Change brush and I'm going to go into taste, in, no, I'm going to go into beach. And I'm literally just sewing this on the outer corner and around the edge of my crease to give that bright that change brush and I'm going to go for more of packing brush and I'm going for the Morphe MB10 if you're interested and I'm going to go into submerge but I'm going to pack this into the outer corner of my lid it doesn't go on too at first but my word it's buildable and then I'm going to go back in with the brush I used for beach and I'm just going to blend around the edges. I'm not sure if I care too much of that sort of grey colour there that it's just give it. Mm. That's not pretty. Mm. So I'm going to have to do something like that. Oh, clean brush. Here's another packing brush, and I think I'm going to go in with the yellow of Quench. I'm going to go back in again now with Beach and try and just blend that out a bit by tapping ever so carefully because I don't want any of that weird grey to come back through because that was just not nice. 
That's looking a bit better. Okay, so yeah, maybe try not to blend submerging beige because it comes out with a weird grey colour. Unless it's just my lids. It could just literally be my lids. Hmm. So I think I'm going to take a bit of taste buds and I'm going to use my spectrum brush and I'm just going to tap, oh wow that was pigmented, whoa. I'm just going to go around the edge to soften it up. And I'm going to cut half my crease, I think, because I want to see some of that blue still. What have I done? Anyway, well, that's still tacky. I'm going to go straight in, and I'm going to, I think, I'm going to go in with Filthy Rich and Snatched. That's Snatched. So I'm just going to dab this around that weird top part that I did and then I'm going to get filthy rich on tonight. Ring finger and I'm going to more onto my lid. weird we'll work with it I'm just gonna go back in with my spectrum brush on taste buds a tiny little bit and blend out the outer I'm gonna go in with splash the tiniest bits of blush I'm gonna catch up on my other eye <laughs> And we'll see what it looks like then. Okay, I know I look a little bit insane at the moment, but I am going to tidy it up. I promise. Right, so I'm going to stick a bit more primer onto my face. And then I'm going to quickly do the rest of my face. For foundation, I'm using the Fast Basic Foundation in F1 and F4. F1 under my eyes, my nose, my chin and my forehead. And F4 for the rest of my face. And I'm using a Unicorn Cosmetics Beauty Sponge to blend all of that in. Blend, 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 blend. blend. But under my eyes, I am using the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Conceal and Contour Concealer in C0.5. Blend, 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 blend. So, finish off my eyes now. I don't know what to do. A smudgy brush. I don't actually know if it is a smudgy brush or not. And I'm going to go in to quench again. I think you should see the state of my dress. I am like a Jackson Pollock painting. I'm going to pop this in the inner corner. Okay. 
out a wee bit. And then I'm going to go into beach. Just go right on the last line. And then I'm going to go into splash and just eating up that wing. I'm going to quickly throw on my Revolution Renaissance Flick Eyeliner. I'm going to throw on a pair of lashes. I am obviously going to stick some mascara on them and I am going to use a little MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D Lash. But we'll just get the mascara on to try and meld my lashes into the falsies. Make these and to add a little bit of a drama to my low lashes. And of course, poke yourself in the eye and get mascara drops all over yourself. So that's my eyes done. I've just gone in with, come with a splash and dragged it a little bit more under my lower lashes to give that bit more of a melding. Contour, I'm using the Freedom Professional London Pro Show Palette with the brush that comes with it. I'm using the darkest brown strip and I'm just going to pack that quite densely into my contour areas and using the little Morphe M164 brush to do my nose before blending out with a big fluffy brush. I have no idea if this is the right technique, I'm just doing it anyway. Bronzer, I'm using the Avon True Glow Bronzing Powder in Medium Riviera and I'm just using that to add a bit of colour to my face. It smells of coconuts. For blusher, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to use Beauty Killer. And I'm gonna use star power. I'm just gonna use this little cheeks brush. And I'm just gonna dab the smallest amount on. So I've got a really subtle hint of blusher there. Highlight, I'll get beauty killer back out. And I'm going to use Princess. I'm going to get a little more of a fan brush. I didn't mean to go that far and put my forehead. Just look at that glow. Lips next. And I am going to do, oh, I'm going to attempt to do an ombre orange lip using flame flamethrower, pumpkin pie, and Yummy from Jeffrey Star.
Let me go away, do something with my hair. And I'll be back with my final looks and final thoughts. I am quenched. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's fun. It's bright. It's pretty. The shimmers, they're just insane. They're beautiful and just amazing. That's all I can say. It's insane. I love the palette. Was it worth the wait? I'd say so. Especially for them shimmer colours. I mean, if you've been watching the channel of the last few videos you know that I've been going a bit mad at the silver and doing silver cut creases and stuff so the fact that this has got such a ridiculous silver in there just calms my crazy mind the other shimmers as well I think they're everything you could ever need if you're just wanting to get that bit of glam and glitz and glow <laughs> I am living for thirsty so if you can get your hands on thirsty i would i mean it does sell out like that it's ridiculous it, it, it took me six months almost six months to get blood sugar so that says quite a lot as ever thanks for watching i've been sally from the let's make up blog uk team claire and devs will be uploading at some point in the near future fingers crossed I've been playing with the Jeffree Star Thirsty palette and a little bit with Beauty Killer but this palette um officially in love with it it's yeah it's just beautiful I'll list all the products I've used on my face off camera and when I've spread up and stuff down below so that if you want to know you can you, you can find them as well if you've enjoyed the video please give us a big thumbs up leave constructive criticism for us down in the comments boxes below because when you I mean I'm new to this I don't really know what I'm doing so if you give me pointers it can help make me better because that's what this is all about just making us better people and having fun with makeup at the same time I think subscribe and hit your little bell in the corner there to let you know whenever we do upload a video all products used i have purchased myself it's not sponsored and thanks for watching